It's a St. Joseph. It's my own nephew, Jimmy O'Hurley. One and the same. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, Jimmy, it's so good to see you. Come here. Uh, it's what? great to see you, Aunt Mary. Let me see what a fine young man you've become. Oh, and when the ma with the map of my darling Kitty's face looking at me, oh, that sweet Irish <clears> face, <throat> I just absolutely <clears throat> can't believe... Oh, 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 where, where are my manners? Oh, Iona, I'd like you to meet Jimmy. Jimmy, this is Iona Huntington. This is Jimmy O'Hurley. It's a my pleasure. Nephew. Well, it certainly could be. Oh, it can't I, be. Yeah, you two must know each other already, I know. I don't <laughs> believe this. Katie? Little Jimmy? <laughs> you big boy. My God, I, how long has it been? I don't want to talk about it. It's been a long time. Now, look at you. Now... This, this can't be Katie. Ah, it is, it is. <laughs> now, the Katie Delafield I remember was tall and skinny and wore glasses. <laughs> they were always sliding down her nose. And, and what else? What else? Uh, oh, yeah, and that nose was stuck in some music uh, book. And <laughs> you always had a Band-Aid on your knee or mm -hmm. something. Oh, oh, what about a drink? Uh, no, thanks. Um, what's that? Uh, tea? Uh, I'd love a cup of tea. Oh, tea. Good. So, so tell me, what, what have you been up to? Oh, Aunt Diana, you would never believe all the trouble that this one used to get me in all the time. Yes, I would. <laughs> do, you, do you remember the time when you and I wanted to learn how to smoke? Huh? So you went and you stole your father's unfiltered cigarettes and mm -hmm. we both got as sick as dogs. Do you well, remember that? You should thank me. What better way to uh, nip that nasty habit in the bud, eh? Yeah, you're right, but I got in a lot of trouble because of you. <laughs> and you loved it. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Well, let's all sit down and let's hear what other kind of mischief you two got into. <laughs> well, do you remember what I tried to teach you after smoking? Um, uh, kissing? What do you mean, tried to teach you? Oh, oh, Wait a minute. Tried. Wait a minute. You never told me that. I don't tell you everything. Well, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Oh, uh, I mean, she was a terrible student. Oh, 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 no, that's exactly oh, oh. what she used to do. I tried to kiss her and then she kicked me or punched me. I mean, she was a pretty damn good puncher and kicker back then, too, as I remember. Now, put it down. <clears throat> so, um, what, what brings you to Port Charles? Ah, business. Boring. But you know, the good thing is I'll be here for a while. And I promised myself the first thing I'd do when I got here was to look up my favorite ad. Uh. Now, little did I know that she'd be in the midst of such... Beautiful and charming company. Oh, you Ooh. silver tongue. You know what they say, flattery will get you everywhere. Well, you know, I, I never realized that Katie had a younger sister. <laughs> you are a devil. This one could give Robert Scorpio a run for his money. You haven't changed a bit. I know, and I don't intend to. <laughs> well, I just wanted to stop by, say hello. Uh, I promise I'll be back. But uh, there's a meeting I have to get to. And I haven't even checked into my hotel yet. Oh, hotel? Uh, what hotel? Uh, the Port Charles. I've been told it's the best one in town. Well, it is, uh, but... Look, you could, you could stay here. No, no, I could oh, oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can, Jimmy. Uh, we've got plenty of room, and Catherine wouldn't ask you if she didn't want you, and I'd love well, to cook it, for you. Oh, it'd be fun. It'd, well, there'd be some new blood around here. Absolutely. You have to stay now. You're family. <laughs> well, how can I say no? I mean, how often do you get to be asked uh, to live with not one? but two and three beautiful women. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you're incorrigible. <laughs> Irish and running very late. Oh. Now I have to go. Oh. Uh, I may have a boring job, but it's a good one, and I don't want to blow it. It wouldn't be the first time. Now, now, Aunt Mary, now, no one talking behind my back while I'm gone. <laughs> oh, that must be my handsome stranger now. Uh, no. You know me. Oh, I know. It's mine. Oh, hi, Doc. You must be the man uh, Mary's been going on yeah. about. I'm uh, delighted to meet the um, man who finally tamed Kate. I like the sound of that. Yeah, <laughs> this is uh, Mary's nephew, Jimmy O'Hurley. He and Jimmy, this is Robert Scorpio. Nice to meet you. Likewise. <sighs> You're a lucky man. Uh, Robert is the commissioner of police. Well, I guess I'll have to keep my nose clean while I'm in uh, Port Charles then. Um, <clears throat> I have to go. Uh, nice meeting you. Take it easy. Likewise. Uh, I'll see you later with my luggage. Right. Yeah, he's, he's Mary's nephew, so he's staying here mm -hmm. for a while. Uh-huh. Okay. So he's, he's a real charmer, don't you think, Robert? Yeah, I'd be worried about that if I were you, Robert. Not a type. <laughs> oh, speaking of type. Were we? Well... I just wondered if you had any more information on that master counterfeiting ring you've been working on. Well, what? since it's now all become common knowledge, 
Um, <clears throat> we're not having much luck at all. Oh, dead end, huh? Well, we have a WSB agent who was in pursuit of a counterfeiting ring. That agent is now dead. Whether there's any connection between the two, uh, there's no way of knowing. Uh, we have an autopsy going on. Maybe that'll turn something up. Dead end. Yeah, I think that sums it up rather well. <laughs> Night. You do not fool me, Mandubani. Ask your questions. A message from the dead man. I don't know what it means. I have no answers. He was after a counterfeiter, and so far that's all I really know. Look into the fire. What do you see? Wood, stones, ash. And from the fire? Well, there's, uh, there's flames, there's heat, there's sparks. You do not remember? Sparks. The Aborigines believe that the sparks go up into the sky and become the stars. It pleases me that you have not forgotten everything. What are you trying to tell me here, that the answer's in the stars? Perhaps. For your mind. Look to the stars. Let your instincts be your guide. Connection with the Domino investigation here in Port Charles, New York. Their message is personal to someone they both care very much about. First, Mr. Colton Shore. Thanks, Tiffany. Felicia, if you're out there and you're watching right now, I just want you to know that I'm worried about you. And I want you to pick up a phone and just call us and tell us that you're all right. And come home. We can work it out, okay? Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Shore. And now, Mr. Prisco Jones. There are a lot of people that love you here, Felicia. I know it's been very difficult for you. And we force you into a situation that you just don't know what to do. All we ask is that we know that you're all right. Because that's our main concern, is that you're all right. So, please call us. Thank you both, gentlemen. And if our viewing audience has seen this woman that is going to be on the screen, please call our toll-free hotline number, 1-800-FELICIA. That's 1-800-FELICIA, and all information will be strictly confidential. That's all for tonight. I'm Tiffany Hill for WLPC. Thank you, and good night. Decker! Decker!